I'm here. Hello, good evening, good evening. Welcome back, hi friends, good evening. How is everybody doing? I had a little issue with my Instagram getting on live, but we're just gonna give a couple of moments to let my followers know that I am live. Hi Karen. How's everybody doing? Good evening. I am wearing a sweater inside my house in South Florida because my hands are freezing and I'm not turning on the heat. I refuse because it is not that cold. For real, y'all. It is not that cold. But my body is in shock <laughs> because I'm cold. <laughs> But I'm um, not as cold as y'all are up north, so that I don't mind. Um, so happy Wellness Wednesday. Welcome back. Uh, thank you for joining me and giving me your time. I am back and happy to share this space with you um, and teach my passion of essential oils, natural alternatives, and any other things that I may like to share about. So, lavender is the gateway oil. Yes, it is. It was my gateway oil. What was your gateway oil? That's what I want to know. So, it is Wellness Wednesday. Yeah, Karen says it's freezing. Yeah. Uh -uh. I'm not freezing. Um, but I am cold. So, it is Wellness Wednesday. Welcome back to my 39th, 39th live dual broadcast from here on Instagram and here on Facebook where I will be here every single Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time to share about oils. So if you know someone who is interested in a natural alternative and the oily life, go ahead, like, comment, share this video with your friends and your family and show me some love and you can tag them right here. So that would be pretty cool. Hi, Heather. So if you are catching the replay, it is all good. Um, if you can't join the live, because the replay will always be archived on my YouTube. You can just head on over to YouTube, search Lindsay I am Marino, and all of my classes will be there. Today is the 39th class, so that is a really, really big achievement for me. I have come very, very far with even wanting to come on lives, and now I'm doing it every week, dual broadcasting, like I'm someone special, right? I am special, but um, you can also go on to the link in my Instagram that will take you to my bio, to take you to my YouTube, to see all the archived videos. So I will have classes there, I'll have any doTERRA updates, promotions, any new content, go ahead and subscribe. And anything that's added, you will be advised and alerted. So, let's get started. Hey Lindsay! Hey girl, hey! So let's get started. My name is Lindsay I. Marino and I'm an essential oil educator and team leader for doTERRA International. I am also an Aroma Touch certified practitioner and a lover of all things essential oils and all things wellness, as we all know, right? I've kind of changed my background a little bit. I figured my Tree of Life essential oil holder is so much prettier to look at than just the regular purple wall. But, um, Facebook, you can see my banner. Instagram, you kind of can't see my banner from the angle, but it's all good. So, this class is an opportunity for all oilers to learn and have a refresher, review the basics for how to maximize and enjoy your oils. I know that this can be a lot of information all at once, once you have, you know, once you first meet with me, whether it's in person, if you're local or virtual, and then get all your oils, we meet again. It's a lot of information. So this is gonna be like a refresher. It's gonna be power hour, as we call it. It's gonna be a lot of information. So um, having this class allows you the opportunity to ask questions. It allows you the opportunity to get more support and, and accountability. Hopefully you will learn something new if you didn't last time and hopefully feel empowered with the basics. So get a pen, get a pad, because you're going to need it. We're going to take some notes, okay? So three ways to basically benefit from essential oils. 
is topically, internally, and aromatically. And topically on your skin, using roller bottles, I love these. These are my favorite, if I can get it out. There we go. These are my favorite from, you know it, the Root and Petal. So these are my favorite rollers from the Root and Petal. You can fill any blend that you want into in there. It's choose your own adventure, whatever it is that you're looking for. You can blend, blend, blend. And um, it's such a cost effective way to enjoy your oils topically and they will last for months. It's very um, cost effective. So the standard dilution, and if you don't know what dilution is, we dilute with a fractionated coconut oil. And anyone that gets started with me, I gift roller bottles and fractionated coconut oil to make sure, hi Ashley, Ashley um, to make sure everybody has their resources and tools that they need to get started with blending and using their oils. So, um, this one I like, you can get on Amazon. It's 16 ounces for about 12 bucks. doTERRA's is about four ounces for 12 bucks. Not that I don't like it, I just like it. It comes with a little pump, so it's really easy to fill your roller bottles. It's, um, doTERRA's doesn't come with a pump, you have to buy an extra pump, which I have, but this is more easy. So, that is part of my welcome bundle when you get started with me. So. The standard dilution I like to practice for babies and kids up to 12 is 1% dilution. And that is one to three drops per oil in a 10 milliliter roller bottle, which this is a 10 milliliter roller bottle. If you don't know, now you know. Um, and then you top it with your fractionated coconut oil. This is a carrier oil. There's tons of other carrier oils. You can go back to two weeks ago when I did Curious About Carrier Oil. There's tons of carrier oils. This is our most popular, and it um, has a good shelf life. It's not greasy, it's very hydrating. It helps the oils and gets on more contact of the skin than by just putting the essential oils neatly onto your skin. So that's why we dilute. And uh, standard dilution for adults is 2%. Uh, so 12 years old and up, three to five drops per oil in a 10 milliliter rolling. Now, it's a choose your own adventure. I encourage you to do what you want to do at the end of the day. If you want to bump it up, don't fill the roller bottle all the way to the top with a fractionated coconut oil. You can always add oils you cannot take away. So a little goes a long way, you only need a few drops. Start small and bump it up if you need to. When you're first starting with oils, I needed a lot, only because I felt like I needed a lot. Let me rephrase that. I felt like I needed a lot because I was coming off with some meds <laughs> and I wanted to lube up with all my oils. I'm like, just give me, just give me it full force, right? Now I don't, I know that I don't need that much. They're very, very precious. They're um, very precious oils. They are liquid gold and a little goes a long way. They're very concentrated and they're just amazing. So I encourage you to use your own, choose your own adventure and I'm going to show you right now how to make, let's use purple, because I like purple and it matches my shirt. Because lavender was my gateway oil. What, what? Okay, so I'm gonna close this up. Stay, let's put this over here. I need a bigger desk, guys, I need a bigger desk. All right, so you're gonna get your roller bottle out, okay, and you got your oils. You, you most um, probably got the, a top 10 oil kit, okay? So in your top 10, you have, um, you can pick, pick whatever you wanna pick. So we're just gonna make a, I like to call this the all things skin blend. So we're gonna take lavender, frankincense, and melaleuca, which is all three of them are in your top 10 starter kit. So, for adults, what did we say? Three to five drops each. And shout out to Elka at Share Oils because these little dropper tops are amazing. And you have the little labels for the dropper tops too for your oil organization OCD like I have. So, um, shout out to her and shout out to Becky at the Root and Petal for these amazing little colorful 
rollers. You can match them with your shirt like I do or my entire room because everything is purple. <laughs> that do life. And um, you can get your kids involved too with rolling and blending for your children and the color coding is, is really fun. So I'm going to do three drops of my lavender. One, two, three. And this is just an all skin calming. Lavender is very, very calming. It's good for the skin. It helps recovery time for the skin. So if you have any type of skin irritation or a nick or a cut or a burn or anything like that, it kind of takes the sting out and really helps recover the skin very quickly. And I'm going to do three drops of frankincense. One, two, three. Cellular rejuvening. It is um, a uh, enhancer oil, so it kind of bumps up all the other oils and it is great for the skin. Anti-aging, anti-aging, yeah, I said it, ooh. Melaleuca, which is our tea tree oil. I'm gonna do three drops of that. Very cleansing to the skin. And um, I like to call it my zit zapper. And look, that's all you need. Look how, look how m little oil you need. That's three drops of each for an adult for a skin irritation or any type of all things skin blend. So what's cool is it has the lavender, which is calming, frankincense, which is also calming, cellular rejuvenating, good for the skin. Lavender's calming to the skin and just calming um, in, in any way. Lavender is the gateway oil. Lavender is what got me off of my sleep meds almost four years ago, or a little over three and a half years ago, in two and a half months. So that's when I became a believer. And the, mel the Melaleuca, I take internally for my skin irritations, as well as applying it topically. And if you don't know what internal and non-internal is, you can see any one of my um, introductions to essential oils or basics classes. There is one a month, which is every first Wednesday is my introduction and basics to essential oils. So you can go back to my YouTube and see any of those um, archive classes. That's what they're there for. They're always going to be there for, which is amazing. Then I take my little fractionated coconut oil and my roller. Now, normally when you're starting, I would say place the fractionated coconut oil on a surface, but you can't see me, so I'm going to hold it real tight. Okay? And then you bring the roller up to the, the pump and make sure it's all the way in there. You don't want it to be halfway in there because it will squirt out. I'm just letting you know. And then you just go pump, 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 pump. Fill her up, fill her up, fill her up. Now, I don't like to fill it all the way up. I like to give it just a smidge. You can see just a smidge underneath because you can always add oils if you want to bump it up, bump up the dilution. If not, just fill it back up with fractionated coconut oil, um, whatever. So you're just going to place the little um, roller bottle top inside. You don't have to push it all the way in and don't put it on your, uh, push your hand on top because this is a frosted glass ball in a um, plastic little holder, and you don't want to um, widen it and, and have any spillage or leakage, which they don't because these are the best rollers ever. Um, these are the only ones that I use besides ones that I may get from doTERRA. I usually end up putting them in these anyway. Um, these are my favorite, they're amazing. And so easy to refill, okay, here we go. Mine's gonna be blown, you just take the, the inside part that twists, you're gonna take that and just kind of pop the top right out. Did you see that? Let's do it again. I'm gonna push it in and a little elbow grease to get it back in. You'll hear the click. One more time, I'm gonna do it for Instagram. Facebook, you can see me too. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Okay, so super simple. Usually I put the labels on first because just in case you leak or spill anything, you don't want label, you don't want your bottle to be, what say, uh, oily when you put the, the labels on. doTERRA will give you an education book, um, an amazing education book that comes with some starter labels. I like to get my cap stickers um, from Share Oils. They have oil proof cap stickers, they're amazing. Amazing. So you're just going to get your stickers, whether from doTERRA, whether from Share Oils, wherever, and you're just going to label it because if you don't label it, you're not going to remember what the heck you put in the roller bottle. I'm telling you that right now. So I'm going to put lavender, melaleuca, 
Where are you? Element, no. Do anybody do that? These are all alphabetical. It's like I don't know my ABCs. Element, no. Lavender. Maluka. And Franco songs. I don't know why I keep doing these weird sounds. I don't know. I'm in a good mood. Who else is in a good mood? Type in a heart if you're in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. It's well, it's Wednesday. Why wouldn't I be in a good mood? Now, last Wednesday, I wasn't in a good mood. <laughs> Could you tell? But we do hard things, people. We do hard things, and we just get her done. Get her done. All right. So, now we have our labeled little roller bottle. Super simple. You know what's in it. You know, you know your recipe. Super simple. And... And you can just put it right here. And this one's very calming too. So you can take your, your oil right in your hands. Did you see that? Just right in your hands. Rub together. Do a little palm inhalation. And that is where we segue into the next way to use your oils, which is aromatically. So aromatically is through breathing the aromatic benefits of the oils through your nasal passages to help stimulate the body. Um, and the brain in incredible ways. So let's get oily, okay? If you have an oil, grab it. Grab your favorite oil. I'm just gonna grab this one because that's what I made. Okay, it could be a roller, it could be just an oil, whatever you wanna do. So you just put your roller or your oil in your palm of your hands like we just did. Rub together and do some deep inhalations. This is a great way to get the benefits of your essential oils. I love this little all things skin. It's my favorite little blend. So that's how you make a roller bottle and that's how you use your oils aromatically. Another way to use your um, aromatically, usually I like to do my inhalations deeply and hold it and do that three times. Clear the energy, clean the slate, clears your mind from the busy day um, and be focused and center our body. And that's how I like to elevate myself if I'm having a moment, which I'm sure we all do. Maybe me a little bit more than others, but that's why I got my oils, so it is what it is. So I just feel like you start to calm down and you can diffuse the anxious feelings. Literally, segue into the next way on how to use your oils aromatically. There we go, the little thing came out. So this is the uh, doTERRA's Petal Diffuser. Um, this goes uh, one hour, two hour, or four hour, and it uh, has a night light. So you can turn off the light if you want, you can turn on the light. And this is a great uh, diffuser that comes with the Home Essentials Kit. And it's real simple how you use it. Let's turn it off real quick so I can show you the insides. So there's a little red dot right here. Where is it? There we go. Little red dot right here. You're just going to fill the water up to the red dot. And this is 100 milliliters, so if I, was, I would do up to six drops of oil. So two, two, and two, three, and three. If you want to blend, if you think you're a blend master, blend it up. I have wild orange and peppermint going on in here right now, which is awesome. So I just got this guy going right here. Wild orange is very uplifting and invigorating, and pepper is, peppermint's great for focus um, and uh, head tension. I got a little bit of that going on um, this week. Ladies, if you know what I'm saying, so, next, we're going to um, talk about diffusing. So, diffusing oil. See, now I'm hot. Maybe I should just take this off. I was cold before. I act like it's really cold. It's not really that cold. Okay. So, now you can see my shirt. Courtesy of Essential Oil Style. Yes, my girl Alex over there. She hooks it up. Um, so, also, for all of these places, we have amazing coupon codes. If you are in our Empowered by Oils team, or you can go to hillarylemay.com because my girl has her own doTERRA certified website, and you can go and get all the coupon codes for all your oil swag. Just wanted to throw that one in there. In any event, so diffusing our oils in our space is another simple way to use your oils aromatically, and you can do whatever blend you like. So like I was saying, 3-3 three, three or 2-2-2. Two, two, two. So... Negative seven, Ashley says it's negative seven in Cleveland. I don't feel sorry for you. Oh, that's okay. It's what? I could ask Alexa, but she's out there. I think it's low of 60 something tonight. 
It has been getting warmer during the day, but it was in the 40s, and that's cold for us, okay? My poor dogs are on their doggy um, heating pads on the couch right now because Mama's not there to cuddle with them, heaven forbid. So <laughs> I'm sitting on the couch trying to work today because I just wanted to cuddle in my blanket instead of sitting in my office and freezing. So I'm sitting there, excuse me, and my dog, Da Vinci, is just like, trying to put his little head underneath me and he's like I'm like dude I can't and I'm trying to sit here and hold the dog like making it comfortable for him and have my laptop and working too I'm like dude you just ha you have to go I'm like L -l -l. he was so he looked at me and he was just like walked on the other side he's like forget you mom I'm like well, whatever in any event squirrel let's get back on topic here <laughs> so internally is the third way that you can use your essential oils our vitamins and supplements you um, have, an, have essential oils infused in them. A drop of any citrus water, um, citrus to your water. So I like to use, this is my water bottle, 32 ounces. I drink, I'm supposed to drink two of them a day. I do maybe like four of them. Um, and we're going to talk about the whole water intake, people. So this is my lemon. And I have my handy dandy little dropper top. And I like to put one, two, three, four. I like to put five drops because during the day when you drink your water and the water goes down, the oil is, residue is still on the sides of the bottle, I feel. And if you just keep um, filling, filling it up, you don't need to add more oil. You just give it a little swirling and sip. And with lemon internally, it's detoxifying, it's refreshing, and you're like, detoxifying your innards um, through using your lemon internally. So that's another way you can use any citrus, lemon, wild orange, grapefruit, lime, I, I use all of them. So it helps the body's naturally natural ability to detoxify and flush out anything that doesn't need, that we don't need. So I like doing frankincense under the tongue. So here we have Mr. Frank. I do a drop of that. You know, you always see me posting before my live. I didn't do it tonight because I was last minute preparing because I procrastinated a little bit. Let's be honest. This is a, if I, this is a safe zone, okay? So I didn't get to post that, but I usually say, you know, all my stories, see you live in 10, you know, Frank and Co. under the tongue for anxious feelings and Blase, blase. So that's how I like to use my frankincense internally under the tongue to help with those anxious feelings because we do hard things. This is still anxious feeling, but I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see you guys. I'm excited to teach and share and educate um, and share everything that I love to do. So it also helps with head tension and internal inflammation, which I need because I got some issues with a bad car accident. So that is a big, big one for me. So now we know how to use the oils and we are going to go into our wellness pipelines. So we are going to talk about, and I showed this in my stories before we got started and gave you a little bit of time to either grab one of these or print out the page three and page 16, which is our wellness pyramid and our wellness consult. So first we're gonna go into our wellness pyramid because that's how we segue into the wellness consult. We have to um, figure out what our priorities first and then go into what goals we want to create. So if you don't have this, it's cool because we're just gonna use the ones that I put in these little um, things, whatever they're called. They're not laminated, but they're like the little binder cover office thingies. So you get your little dry erase marker and we're gonna go to town. So living a lifestyle, living a wellness lifestyle, it means that this combination of lifestyle and healthcare. So we're going to go over our wellness pyramid here on page three. And when lifestyle is the focus, we can improve and then maintain our health naturally. This happens through small daily habits, using the oils, using the supplements, moving our bodies, staying hydrated, supporting our emotions, simple and effective, straight to the point. So take a look at where we are so we have um, a, a starting point. This is what we're going to do. We're going to basically take a look at where we're at so we can know where we want to be. So I'm going to walk you through some various 
uh, wellness pipelines, and I'd like you to write down your numbers for on a scale of one to 10. One being that you need to improve it, and 10 means that you're already a rock star in that area, which, let's, let's be honest, I'm not. I'm not perfect. So what's awesome is that I'm going to be participating as well. I'm gonna be doing this because who doesn't need a, you know, a good updated lifestyle review? Let's just call it that. So we're gonna go over um, our pipelines. The first one you're gonna rate yourself on, okay? Write this down. Nutrition. Um, our stomach is our second brain, so it's very important for your mood, hormones, everything else to ensure that your nutrition is as good as it can be. Are we eating three whole meals, mostly fruits and vegetables? Are you taking time each week to plan your meals, which I know is hard, but if you, you know, jump on board, take a couple hours on a Sunday or any other day that is your Sunday if your schedule doesn't permit or if it's different, um, just to, to prep, prepare. You don't have to necessarily prepare the food, just prepare what you're gonna eat, like figure out, okay, this, this, and this, this is kind of quick. You know, if you do food prep, do food prep. Roast a whole pan of vegetables and throw it in the oven. Then you got sides for the week. It's really, if you, if you just Google <laughs> or YouTube it, it really will break it down for you. It's really not that, it's really not that complicated. And I thought it was, and I was like, oh, this is too complicated, too time consuming. Um, but that's what I'm here for, to make everything more efficient and effective and easy. So, um, are you finding yourself throwing things together? Eating con uh, convenient food, packaged food, or eating out a lot? Are you having frequent, comfortable bowel movements? Yeah, I said it. We all do it. Yes, I can talk about poop. <laughs> That's, we gonna talk about it. It's a good icebreaker, it is what it is. Drinking water throughout the day. Are you feeling bloated and uncomfortable after you eat meals regularly? Um, there is zero judgment here, and you're keeping these numbers for yourself, for your own accountability, and seeing it on paper and visualizing it and seeing it like, wow, I really need to work on that. That's what this is for. So take a, t take a moment to rate yourself between one and 10 on nutrition. I'm gonna do the same. Uh, although I do eat right, now I'm talking out loud. Although I do eat right, I still find myself going for the convenient vegan stuff, which is not eating right, really. Even though I eat my vegetables, I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. It's, it's, a, hard, it's a hard one. I would say I could do better. I, say, I would say I'm in the middle. Let's just go for a five. You don't got to tell me, but I can tell you because I'm just going to talk out loud. Because I'm, I'm a what? I'm an open book. So, um, and... I'm just gonna tell you because no one's perfect and everybody falls off and it's just about getting back up and staying as consistent as you can. And I fall off, it happens. Next we're gonna talk about sleep. Are you feeling lethargic? And right now, sorry guys, but this is the way I support myself. I'm feeling a little bit, these lights in my, in my eyeballs, that's why I'm wearing my blue blockers. I don't wear glasses, y'all, just blue blockers. I'm taking my tension tamer <laughs> and I'm gonna put this right up here because it's that time this week, and I get tension in my head very easily, and I'm talking a little louder because I was watching my, um, not my YouTube, my phone has good video, has good speaker, has, you know, it's really updated, but my, my Mac is an older Mac. Um, it's on the outs right now, so the camera is not that well, the lighting is not that good. Well, I have good lighting, but the camera's not that great. And the, the microphone is not that great, so I'm trying to talk a little bit louder, but I'm giving myself some head tension. So look, this is what we do. We grab our oils for support. Yes. All right, that's why I kept it handy, because I never know when it's gonna come up. So, sleep. Are you feeling lethargic when you wake up? Because sometimes I do. Um, in the afternoons, are you feeling lethargic? Do you have a sleep, a good sleep routine? Do you have good sleep hygiene, turning uh, your devices off or on airplane mode? I know I need to be better about getting my phone away from my bedside. I need to be better about that. Um, and limiting your screen before bed. Even the, even the TV, it's like, what do you fall asleep to? Um, I, I hate that. So 
let's just talk about that. So my rest would be, I'm not great at it. I could do better. I'm gonna say I'm in the middle. Cause I, I get pretty good sleep. Um, I fall asleep well, staying asleep. But that's what oils are for, just lube up and go back to sleep. And then um, phone time. It's funny how I'm like rating myself now. Before I was preparing, I was like, eh, I'm not paying attention. Now I'm like really paying attention to like me. And that's what this is for. So um, rate yourself between one and 10 on that, on sleep. So we're gonna talk about um, exercise. So exercise on a scale of one to 10. Are you moving your body 30 minutes a day by walking or playing with your children? exercise videos, um, going to the gym. You don't necessarily have to have a fancy gym membership. There's Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime and a smart TV or a fire stick to make it a smart TV, you go on your TV, you log in as Amazon, and you just Google yoga or Pilates or exercise or whatever, and all of the Prime ones that are free, you could do it in, in, your, in the convenience of your own home. So um, you could do pure bar. Um, any type of yoga or mindful movement. You can also um, do intentional stretching, which is really awesome. You gotta get your heart rate up for at least 30 minutes and break a little sweat. Um, so take it to a moment to rate yourself on that. I'm pretty good. You wanna do it five days a week. Um, I, got, I did five days a week. I do minimum of three days a week, but five days a week is really good. So I'm going to um, put myself as an eight for that because I'm pretty, I'm pretty consistent with that. Unless I got my eyebrows did and I couldn't go for seven to 10 days. That was annoying, <laughs> let me just tell you. So, next is um, your mood. This is a big one for me. How are you feeling? Are you losing your patience faster than you, faster than you would like? Are you easily triggered? I'm easily triggered. This was a funny one when I was preparing, preparing for this. Have four dogs and my husband, that's my trigger right there. But it's all good in the hood because what? I have my oils. Get you some lavender. And just start. And in 20 seconds, you'll be good. I promise. I promise. So, <laughs> I know I'm getting a little crazy. So, um, are you feeling stressed out or anxious a lot? So, take a rate, take a moment to rate yourself for your mood. Um, and me being a woman, there's the one time a month where it doesn't matter what, I still get a little bit of um, irritation. But just managing that, that stress or that irritation or that anxiousness with oils is a really good tool to have to support yourself. So I'm going to say I'm at, hmm, it's something I could work on. I'm at a four, to be honest, because I, I, I get triggered, and I'm like, <clears throat> in like two seconds, <laughs> um, and then I'm like, where are my oils? I do proactive protocols. Um, I could be better about it in the morning. I, I do the same thing every single morning, but um, it's just a few days out of the month where, you know, just kind of want to stay away from Hurricane Lindsay. I'm just saying, honesty is the best policy, right? You know, be authentic, they say. Here's my authenticity. It is what it is. So, now we're gonna, uh, if you rate yourself on mood, so now we're gonna rate ourselves on reducing your toxic load. Um, and it's just basically, are you aware of your household cleaning products and personal care products? Are you using traditional cleaners like bleach, Windex, chemical laundry detergents, lotion, shampoos, soap, skincare? Um, so take a, a, a moment. So. One being that you're using all of that stuff, and ten being that you're you know you're doing a pretty good job of making some toxic swaps. So I'm I'm gonna say I don't have any toxins in my house as of this moment. Um, I try to get the most natural. Um, I'm actually in the process of swapping out some more makeup. And I met Lisa, I believe it's Davis. I'm not sure of her last name. Lisa Davis, I believe, from Crunchy. 
um, Beauty Conscious is her Facebook. Go to her. I just got some awesome products, vegan, cruelty-free. Um, they are amazing, and I'm hoping that I get them before my cruise next Saturday. So, um, how do you feel that you are on reducing your toxic load? So rate yourself one to 10. I'm pretty good. I'm gonna say an eight. Cause I'm, oh, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna say a nine. Cause my exercise could be better, but I'm pretty good with all that stuff. Pretty OCD with it. Um, so, water intake. So where are you on drinking your water? Are you drinking half your body weight in ounces a day? So that's what I was saying. This is 32 ounces. So I need only 60 ounces a day, but I do double that just because I'm always drinking water. So I drink two, um, I'm supposed to drink two of these is enough for my half my body weight, but um, I drink about four. So I'm always drinking them. I think this is only my third one. But I always have it with me, I always have it full, and I'm always drinking my, my agua. So rate yourself on water intake. I'm gonna say a nine. So next, um, we're going to talk about self-care. And are you taking time for yourself? Time to read a book or be creative, visit a friend, take a bath, paint your nails, whatever it is that you like to do not going to Target and getting sucked into the vortex. Hi, Sierra! Um, and getting sucked into the, in the, into the vortex, which I can totally go on a date with Target, but it's technically not self-care because you end up spending money and buying stupid stuff. I mean, if you're going there for really nothing and you really do have a good time at Target, by all means, I'm not judging you because I love me a good Target shopping run uh, for no reason. I could have me a good one-on-one -on -one date with Target. But just taking time for yourself. Um, so take a, a moment to rate yourself um, through self-care. I do a lot of self-care, so I'm, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm pretty, I'm gonna say nine. I'm not perfect because we can all do better, but I'm up there. So in, let's say immunity. We're gonna talk about your proactive medical care. Are you getting sick frequently? Are you popping pain relievers frequently? Are you um, or your family repeatedly taking antibiotics on a regular basis? Take a moment to rate yourself on, I'm not liking my hair guys, sorry. Rate yourself on that from one to 10. Um, I'm gonna say a nine again because I don't like to be perfect, but I'm up there. I will um, share that I never had my tonsils taken out when I was younger like I was supposed to, so I would get strep or tonsillitis or anything like that prior to essential use, oil use. Now I'm not saying that that treats, cures, or anything like that because I'm being totally compliant. I'm just saying that my immune system has been completely supported since using essential oils. And I never really liked antibiotics because antibiotics will mess up lady parts and we're, TMI, I don't really care, it is what it is, 50% of us are women. So if you are one of those women and you cannot uh, take antibiotics, there's um, amazing oils to support your immune system. A proactively, proactively, proactive way, <laughs> proactive way to support your immune system to lessen that, ha that use because ain't nobody wanna eat antibiotic chicken, right? So why you want to take them? Think about that one. I know, I know. So now we have all this info. So date it today. What's today's date? January 30th. Oh, it's my three year wedding anniversary. I knew that before, but I just wanted to say. It's January 30th. Aww. Hubs is on his way back from Fort Pierce. He's actually coming back. He was going to be out, um, out of town for work overnight, but he is on his way back and ETA is about 8.30, so. He will be probably rolling in right when I'm done this class, which will be pretty cool. So, 
date it today or whenever you're watching this video, if it's the replay, date it whatever day you are watching this and wanting to start and then you can reach out to me and we can create these, these 90 day goals, okay? So we have all this information and it's important to always be evaluating your own wellness and where you feel like you are with various elements and this exercise helps to see where, um, where to focus your time and energy. So we wanna know what your top um, one to two elements, maybe three, um, are your priorities. So choose um, the top one to two elements that need the most attention and that's where you'll wanna focus over the next three months for your 30, 60, and 90 day wellness goals. So um, that is where the wellness consult page on page 16 of your live guide comes into play, okay? So I went ahead and copied it and put it in this little thing, it's a little handy dandy, because these are goals for you now, but then, you know, these are your 90 day goals, but then what happens after that? So you, once you achieve those, you can erase it and write new goals. It's always about growth. It's always about growth. So, um, this page is fairly new, not this page. Well, yeah, this, this is fairly new. So if you didn't have this, um, reach out to me or whoever brought you to, um, to our team. And uh, when you're ready for a check-in or a follow-up for an updated lifestyle overview, and we can help you narrow down what you wanna work on and then help prioritize your list so it makes um, economical sense for you and helps you take advantage of getting free oils and points and everything that you're buying. So um, this is um, imperative to doing when you first get your oils. So keep this live guide handy because from now on you'll want to revisit this list and you can adjust anything. It's truly about baby steps, trusting the process, okay, identifying what we want to do, being clear in what we want, and using our oils to support us. So the habit is the goal. Okay, got that from Miss Hillary LeMay because she is amazing. So it's a great visual to have. You want this as a visual, okay? You want this as a visual with your numbers, your wellness pyramid, your goals, so we know where we're starting at and where we want to be. Um, so we are going to craft a basic 90 day wellness plan. I didn't have this, y'all, when I started in 2015. 15? So I didn't have this. Um, so this is really cool because I'm doing, I'm actually doing this wellness pyramid for the first time. That's crazy, y'all. That's crazy. I'm actually doing this for, I mean, I know the steps to, to getting a lifestyle, you know, a wellness natural lifestyle. I've learned it. I had to start somewhere, but this is the first time I'm actually doing it because these are pretty new. We didn't have this when I first started sharing years ago. Um, now we don't have to reinvent the wheel, which is really, really awesome. Uh, doTERRA gives us everything to be able to guide and support you for all your goals and all your needs, which is awesome. So let's talk about Jane. Um, let's talk about Jane. Jane, uh, I'm going to have my own notes and then, um, so for Jane, so I can see where she's at in 30 days, um, because I can't make Jane achieve her goals. Jane's got to do it on her own. So Jane's top three priorities, we're going to go to the wellness consult right here and we're going to put her top three priorities. Okay. So looking at her, her, um, pyramid here. Her top three goals are um, mood, mood, um, sleep. Let's see, is that what it is? Yeah. Mood, sleep, and nutrition. So, 
where do we want to be at in 90 days? So for our mood, we want to be less triggered. So we want to effectively be less triggered and what? Happy. Who doesn't want to be happy, right? So for sleep, um, let's say you want to get more hours of sleep or more consistent hours, let's say eight hours. We want eight hours of sleep. And then nutrition, you want to be able to eat three whole meals, whole foods, so fruits and veggies, three meals a day instead of reaching for the convenient stuff. So that's where we want to be at. We have what's the issue and what's the goal. It's on paper. I love this. So third column is for the natural solution that um, is needed to be able to get those goals get to those goals and create a morning, afternoon, and night protocol and so on. So you want to be able to go over what natural solutions that Jane was recommended to be able to get to her 90 day goal. So if I went, that would take all night, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. Then on the bottom is, is creating her next three wish lists for those 30, 60, and 90 day goals of what she wants to purchase to be able to support those goals and so on so here um, so so now we have sorry I'm getting notifications so now what's next beyond the starter kit how do you how do you use those goals and how do you support them so here's the beauty of your account and having LRP which is loyalty rewards program um, if you're not sure what all this is, there's a class for that. Go on my YouTube, my archived, it's there. Um, we're going to talk about adding to your collection, saving, maximizing your discount access, and a little bit more about loyalty rewards program. So LRP is the only way you want to buy. It's like having a Costco or Amazon membership. Um, it's like, it's not the same, okay? So I don't know of any other place that, where you can get um, these kinds of rewards that we get with doTERRA, 10 to 30% back on all of your purchases, free oil of the month when you reach 125 product value. Um, the green number that you wanna see in your account is the product value. So that's the 125, that's your in your LRP template. Every three months you place 100 PV LRP, did you get that? Every three months that you place 100 PV, which product value, point value system, um, in your LRP, which is your Loyalty Rewards Program, which is the only way you want to buy, you'll continue earning 5% more in rewards credits to use on free oil. Okay? All of your shipping is reimbursed dollar for dollar. So points are posted. The points that you get in your product credit are posted in your back office is where you log in into your, into your um, account um, between the 15th and the 20th of every month um, uh, of every month for the previous month's LRPs, okay? So whatever you buy this month, it'll be posted next month, and so on and so on. The only way to purchase points, uh, free oil every month, shipping reimbursed, it's the only way you want to purchase. You can even just order one item a month, and your points will roll over. So you, you, if you don't lose it, you don't use it. They just keep going and going and going. If you cancel it, you lose your percentage and your points. Now, I believe there's a different rule if you're something about the points. I think you'll roll over. I, if you have points and you want to cancel, or just let me know. We'll talk about it beforehand. Use your points and then cancel. There you go. Solved. So, how do you want order? You can look at your wellness pyramid and your numbers and see what um, areas you can focus on. Um, and match the oils to help you support on what you need supported. Along those lines, when you are ready to set up your loyalty rewards order, what's next? You've got your starter kit, but what else do you do? So this is what I recommend in your first LRP. Um, it totals around $134, um, which is enough to get your free oil of the month at 125 PV. So the point value system is about a dollar a buck, okay? 
So turn your live uh, your live guide to page 16. So this guy, which I don't need to because I have it here. So, um, so you can see what items you want to order. So what does Jane need? What does Jane need? Um, so this allows you to map out what you want to accomplish in your wellness and how we want to get you there. So Jane needs nutrition. So let's say he's, uh, she's not he's, she's not getting the nutrition that she needs and you know, fruits and veggies and all that stuff. I always recommend the Lifelong Vitality. Ah, new packaging and I'm gonna be ordering the, tomorrow, I'm going to be ordering, no not tomorrow, let's stay Wednesday. Friday, I'm going to be ordering the travel packs. So they, the Lifelong Vitality is now in the travel packs. So that's a little, can you see that? There we go, in the travel packs. So um, I always add your vitamins to your first LR, LRP order. They're 60 PV. This is the absolute baseline and a must for anyone who wants, truly wants to see change in their health. We call it LLV for short. It creates a fertile soil for your body to absorb the benefit of all other protocols that you're doing each day with your oils. There are three components, okay? Alpha CRS, which is your cellular energy and stamina to help support your brain function and body systems to sustain, I lost myself. Sustain your energy naturally <laughs> through the day at a cellular level, all right? Next is your Microplex VMZ, which stands for vitamins and minerals and it's the food nutrients from whole foods and plants. Food nutrients from whole foods and plants, yes. Um, the last is your E-Omega. I take the um, vegan. They have a vegan option. So um, the E-Omega is, is the fish oil, omega-3s, from marine and land sources to support joint, cardiovascular, brain health, and um, support healthy immune function. Now I take the vegan, which has um, other ingredients that does the same thing, okay? So through your LRP, you can add up up to three additional items for 20 PV, 20, uh, 20 bucks each. You could do PV Assist, which is our gut healthy and good mood for your, for your tummy. It's your pro uh, probiotic. You can add the Terrazyme, which is our digestive enzymes also helps with digestion, bloating, gas, and mood, uh, and bowel health. Um, so either or one of those, I recommend both of them, but either one. So if you do both, that's 20 PV. If you do one, that's 10 PV. So we'll add on, um, let's just say both. We'll add on the probiotic and the terrazyme because that's what I would recommend. So after that, you're at what, 60, 70, 80 PV? Or no, that, that's, it's 100 PV. That adds up to 100 PV already. So add Copaiba, um, head, that, that's good for head tension, anxious feelings, mood, internal inflammation, et cetera, over support, overall support. It's $35, 35 PV. It supports your endocannabinoid system. Yes. And I just, I think this one's empty, but I have another one. This one. I got my BOGO stock. Oh, that's a fresh one. That's a fresh opened one. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and just boop, boop, boop. So super simple. I do that with my frankincense and my copaiba. Supports your entire endocannabinoid system and gets you at a PV total that you want to be at for your free product of the month. So... <clears throat> Then we're gonna add on this amazing oil balance. It's very grounding. Um, where you can get the dropper tops is where you can get this fancy roller. And I just roll it onto the bottoms of my feet and on my spine. And this is um, 20 PV. It's very, it's the grounding blend. It's very good for Jane's anxious feelings. And um, now you're at about 135 and it's your absolute baseline for seeing a real change um, inside it out with all of these first um, recommended LRP order products. Now you're getting the free product of the month. 
um, at 125 PV and you feel empowered and you're really ready to support your mood, your sleep, your nutrition. You're ready, you're ready to go. So what are your three top 10 goals for 2019? I'd love for you to share them with me. Um, if you're ready to get started, I would love to guide and support you. Um, I'm going to briefly talk about using your resources. So the whole purpose of using essential oils is to have options and to feel empowered um, that you have everything that you need when you need it instead of having to wait on me or whoever brought you to your oily family to get back to you or um, if you need something that is available in some of our um, great resources. So the welcome book that you get from doTERRA is um, a great resource. It includes uh, the cleanse protocol and some starter stickers. The essential life book is, is our oil Bible. When getting started, your first 100 LRP order, this is yours, okay? So you have all the resources. Go to your essential life book. So the emotions and essential oil book, there's a new one that just came out. I believe it's in my bag. Hold on. No, it's somewhere else. I'm trying to get my life together, people. You know that I'm tidying up, right? Okay, so I'm gonna Marie Kondo that ish. That's what I've been doing. That's what I've been doing. So, the um, Emotions and Essential um, Oil book is an amazing amazing uh, resource to have. I believe it's on shareoils.com. It was a new owner, but it's been revamped. It's like, it's green and white and it's a beautiful book. And the blend names are the doTERRA names, which are so amazing. So you wanna um, grab that. You can get it on Kindle, hard copy, um, or whatever you wanna do. doTERRA.com for product information. Anything on doTERRA.com, click on the product. It will give you all of the product description, the benefits, the uses, the ingredients, the um, safety. I mean, everything that you could possibly imagine. Um, if you are in our Empowered by Oils group, that's a searchable group. You can use the search bar, search bar with the magnifying glass lens that you can filter using any keyword, ailment, oil, issue. All the posts from the past will, will come up through that searchable uh, group. So, let me just move my stuff over here a little bit. Okay, before we close, we have tonight and tomorrow for our Relax and Renew program promo. So if you get started with 100 PV eligible order, you're able to get a free red mandarin, which is not even a permanent oil. It will knock your socks off in your water. It's like a tropical drink, and it is great um, in your cleanser for additional clarifying properties, topically on your face, pretty cool. Um, so they're all, all of the oils are um, multi-use and multi-purpose. If you get started with a 200 PV eligible order, you will get a red mandarin and a serenity for free. Serenity, oh serenity. Serenity, you can diffuse this baby and it's lights out. You can um, infuse your Epsom salts with this oil and have the most luxurious relaxing bath. Place over your heart and the back of your neck to promote some feelings of peace and calmness. And yes, everybody needs peace and calmness. So 10% off of Slim and Sassy all month long is still going on for current doTERRA members. It's got grapefruit, lemon, peppermint, ginger, cinnamon bark, excuse me, in the oil. I like to drink it in my water. And it promotes a healthy metabolism. Manage hunger cravings when taken in the water. Diuretic, stimulant, and calorie free. Um, it's awesome. So, also if you are already on my team and you are sh or, um, organically sharing or you have friends that are asking you um, about oils and you want to get your oils paid for, reach out to me and we can chat further about that as well. So, that is all I have for tonight, y'all, and I will see you next week for Wellness Wednesday before I go on my cruise. I already know what it's going to be. It's going to be about traveling traveling with your oils. So that is going to be awesome. That will be next Wednesday at seven o'clock. Have a good week, everybody. And I'll see you next Wednesday for Wellness Wednesday.